in the, um, the scaffolding as opposed to the operating of that. And, and, the, and exploitation and alienation as the essential nature of the scaffolding remains throughout all of this, and, and, and that's one thing. The other thing is, uh, and, and so I think that exploitation and, and, and alienation do not, are limited, I, I, also, I also say parasitic, in terms of their ability to explain the truth, not the totality, the truth of black suffering. And what it leads to is um, political theories and literary analysis of um, analogy. And I think that, 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 that that's, a, that's a problem. So I'm, I'm kind of not in that mix, but I, I would still say that there's, there are several components that are shared by that debate, internal Marxism. And it's, and it's the components that are shared by the debate which I find problematic in thinking through the suffering of black people. And the components are that people suffer essentially through exploitation and alienation. Um, and you know, and I think this is the difference for me between the um, the, the between the the, the biggest the, the center of the argument of Fanon's Wretched of the Earth, which is profoundly um, mobilized by a theory of exploitation and alienation, and the center of flex skin white mass, which even though it's an impressionistic kind of book, is I think mobilized by social death and, 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 uh, and fungibility and, and accumulation. The, the other thing is that um, there's a certain optimism that is in all Marxist um, frame of references, and that optimism has to do with the, the, the capacity for the subaltern to transform uh, his or her situation. And that is, to me, that is based on what I've been talking about here, um, a, a belief that everyone's labor on endless duration to produce event, and everyone's labor on, um, on a limitless space to produce place, can be recognized and incorporated. And the recognition and incorporation doesn't mean accepted, but the, the genocidal struggle, as I tried to show in the, in the first instance about the poems, between um, the, the settlers and who massacred the Indians at Sand Creek, there's still what's, a, what's, a, what's, a, what's central for Ortiz is the dead bodies. What's central for me is the articulation of two worldviews. And I don't think that it's, I think that if black worldviews were to articulate with other worldviews, then we would have no world. Mm -hmm. be a, it would not be a crisis of political economy, it would not be a crisis of gender relations, it would be an epistemological catastrophe. And so that's kind of how I'm thinking about it. So, so I wanted, I'm stuttering through this because I want to be sure that I'm not arguing with you, but I'm saying that, the, that there's a rhetorical scaffolding that is shared by Negri and Gramsci and, and others, and it's that rhetorical scaffolding that I think is um, not applicable. <laughs>